Continuing my trip down the Windward Islands, I arrived at the Tobago Cays. They're a small group of uninhabited islands protected by a horseshoe reef. I'd been told that on one of the islands, large iguanas could be found running wild, so we set off to see what we could find. It was unbelievably hot on that island, and you can only look at giant lizards for so long. So it was time for a dip. great few days here in the Tobago Keys anchored next to what is really a desert island, uh, Jamesby Island. But uh, there's a lot of boats here that they come in their hordes, charter boats everywhere. But you can see why it is a paradise, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. you have to pay a fee for mooring that's because it's a national park I had a little visit from the rangers they came around I call them the Rastafi rangers because those were the coolest park rangers I'd ever seen but the money goes to helping maintain the park itself Got my friends on their boat, Bella, just across from me. Uh, so I spent the time here with them. Uh, they're going off somewhere to do something else and I'm going my way. Yeah, this place does resemble a parking lot and that's one of the reasons why I'm leaving today. Originally, I wanted to go over here today. Uh, this is where they filmed one of the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean films. 
uh, there's World End Reef over there uh, and uh, there's a scene where uh, Johnny Depp got all his rum burnt on the beach and that was filmed over there but it's quite windy today and I don't really fancy going uh, in and out of the reefs by myself on the boat so I'm uh, gonna go over that way to uh, Maru Island and there's a few bars and uh, well because I'm running short of beer basically got the dinghy hanging off the side of the boat overnight uh, in her new lifting tackle it's a great way to keep her out of the water and safe I'm probably going to take her down and tow her because it's uh, only uh, about three miles we've got to go in that direction but I'm sure I'll be back here soon just under foresail and I decided to leave the dinghy hanging on the side there I've seen a few other people do it and it seems to be working quite well. She's quite happy there. But there's been a change of plan. I should have been going there, but instead I'm going over here. Union Island. And it's all my friends on Bella's fault. They're uh, just over there somewhere in the distance. What it is, there's a famous bar uh, on uh, Union Island called the Dinghy Bar which is basically, I think, a floating bar and you, you, just, you go to it via dinghy and sit in your dinghy and drink, which sounds great fun. They just told me they're going there. Uh, there's no way I'm going to let them have fun and me sitting on that island by myself in a bar so, uh, tonight. So that's the way it is. Quick altar, of course, and uh, we're headed for the dinghy bar. Yes, party on. I got a reasonably good place, but there's lots of reefs here uh, at Union Island. There's the dinghy bar, and here am I. Perfect. But people keep trying to squeeze in. There's a reef and not much space. And I got more people over here, and people keep trying to squeeze in so close. Boats everywhere. I'm staying here for a few more days, and my friends on Bella are uh, leaving for points further south. It's gonna be rough out there. I think so. <laughs> yeah, the anchor winch died. Yeah, anchor winch died. Oh well. All electrical shit. You got you got a strong woman. She can pull it up for you. There's your new anchor winch on the front there. That's so sexist. All right, have a safe journey. I'll see you later in the week. I'm alone here on Union Island for a couple of days, so uh, yeah, gotta find something to do with myself. Next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog. As you can see from the French trickler, it is really blowing a little bit here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out our Patreon page. For real time updates, find us on Facebook. Adventures of an Old Sea Dog.